Hey guys, I haven't really had a real beauty haul in a while. I needed some things, so I went out and um, purchased them. There is one book, so I'm going to show the book first. If you're one of my book subscribers, then you can just click off if you're not interested in the rest. So I went to Dollar Tree, and um, I was looking at the books, and I didn't really see anything. I went to walk away, and I saw Susan uh, Finaldi, Falundi. And I said, wow, she reads Backlash, but I didn't know she had another book out. So I got this book. It's called The Terror Dream, and it says Fear and Fantasy in Post-9-11 America. Um, and it is about, it says, she shines a light on the country's psychological response to the attacks on that terrible day. Turns her powers and the media, popular culture, and political life, she unearths a barely acknowledged but bedrock societal drama shot through with baffling contradictions. Why did an assault on American global dominance provoke an almost hysterical summons to restore traditional life? Um, so it's just, it sounds really interesting to me, and she really is a good writer. So I got this. It was only a dollar, and it's a hardback. It's really nice. So, okay, so if you're a book subscriber, you don't want to watch beauty things, click off now. Okay, hello, beauty subscribers. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to show you the things I got at Dollar Tree first. Um, I ran out of some products. I really needed a few hair products and some other things. So I was just looking, and I decided to get, oh, I got the watermelon one. Oh, well. Um, a Kid Detangler. I think it was Glitterize82 that said she was using this stuff. Um, but it is a detangler, and it's for kids, so it's heavy duty. Um, and it's watermelon smell. Ugh. Whoa, that's really strong. It's all right. My hair's going to smell really fruity. I'll get used to it. Um, but my hair tangles so bad. And I still have the got to be curly one. But um, I'm noticing what is up with my hair. I'm like kind of like moist because I was running around everywhere. Um, but I'm running out of it. And I figured I'll try something else. So then I looked at the makeup. I hadn't really been having luck, but... I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It's the Bonnie Bell Lip Light. That light is just really bad. It's a nude color, as you can see on my lips. Um, it is in Vanilla Swirl. And I just want a kind of a nudie color, like falls here now. So now I'm kind of going to start wearing my greens and my browns and my reds and not so much brights. Um, so I noticed with the packaging, I haven't used Bonnie Bell in a while, but they made it a lot more narrow. They used to be short and round. Now they kind of like changed this into an oval, so people think they're getting more product. Um, but I do like the shape of this better because it's easier to find in your bag. And this is really cool because you can use it to... What the hell? There's like a fruit fly or something. That was creepy. Anyway, sorry guys. And now the brushes have some sort of flatness that goes on your lips. I don't know if you guys used to use Bonnie Bell when you were a kid. When they first came out with these kind, not just the lip smackers. They just had a round brush. It was useless. It was just, this at least has a flattening part that allows you to smooth. So I just put this on really fast, but I really like it. Um, I also got this quad by NYC. And it's just, um, I'm going to open this real fast. What's funny is a long time ago when these quads first came out, I almost bought this for $3. I'm so glad I just waited. Um, as you guys probably know, I absolutely love pink, white, and black. Um, so I saw this and I'm like, oh my god, I got to get it. So this is the Peaceful Pastels Quad. If I can open it. Come on, please let me open it. I'm on camera. Alright guys, I'm not opening this right now. It's not opening. Okay, so you get a cream liner. This is a cream liner. A white, a pink, and that. And it tells you where to put it. Um, let me see if I can get this open. Here we go. So it says right here, the white on it, there's a plastic piece and it says highlight. All over the lid for the pink and the black is contour. Um, obviously, I'm not going to use this double-ended brush. I'm actually throwing this out right now. Um, I'm, I'm going to use this. I might even do a look and come on camera and show you my look with this because um, 
they do have these at your Dollar Tree, so I really advise that if you really like and you want to try an NYC Mod Quad, go uh, see if they have this. Um, and the, that's all I got at Dollar Tree. And then I had to go to Walgreens because I didn't find any hair products I needed. I went to like four places in the last week and I just needed product. My hair has been just looking awful and I haven't been able to use my spray gel and everything. That's what I use on a daily basis with my hair. As you could tell, it's got curl to it. It's kind of dirty. I need to wash it. That's why it looks really not, you know, kind of flat. But, um, so I needed a spray gel. So I went and I got the Herbal Essence Spray Gel, Set Me Up Spray Gel. I've never used this, so I'm going to do a product review after I use it for a while. And then I love Aussie. I actually love their shampoo and conditioner. I haven't used it in a while, too. These were on sale as well. I think that was $2.99. And this was $2.99. And this is the Scrunch Catch the Wave Hairspray. Um, and this is, like, you know, a scrunch hairspray, which is what... I kind of do in a way to my hair so it doesn't get all frizzy. And then the last thing I got, I needed um, eye makeup remover so bad, so bad. These ones that I were using were just awful. And um, I was looking and I can't believe how expensive these things are. Now I got this one on sale. This is 30 of them for about $5. So what I'm going to do is because I think these are really too big. Because I usually, I don't usually do a whole face, okay? Um, and if I do powder or something, I wash my face. So what I'm going to use these are, are just for my eyes and my lips if I need to. So I'm going to cut these in half, so then I'll have 60. Um, but I got the Oil of Olay ones. Daily Facial Express Wet Cleansing Cloths. Lifts dirt, oil, and makeup and locks in the cloth for clean, beautiful skin for all skin types. Um, so I will definitely let you know how these go too. There are vitamin E in these. Um, so I know some of them kind of dry you out, but it is alcohol free. So I will let you know how these products go. I hadn't done a haul in a while and I figured I would show you what I had. And um, if you were interested in a review, you can message me. I'm probably going to review most of these products regardless. So um, thank you for watching. I miss my beauty subscribers and um, I do have three video ideas that I wrote down that I really hope I get a chance to do either today or this weekend. So definitely stay tuned. Um, I know I've been book obsessed lately, but I'm still beauty obsessed and I will continue to give you beauty videos as well. Okay guys, I love you all. Stay gorgeous and have a great day. Bye.